Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video by Osmo Stuff. I happen to be Osmo Stuff. Thank you so, so much for clicking on this video. And thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Cooking with, uh, uh, what's the name? Small Meals with Small Stuff. Welcome back to another episode of Small Meals with Small Stuff. That, that, that makes sense. So today we are cooking again. I know it's been a while since I have made a cooking video and people in my comments have been saying, yo, what happened to the cooking videos? So I was like, today's a Sunday. Um, today's Sunday, the 14th of November. Today's Sunday, the 14th of November. And because it's a Sunday, why not make a nice hearty meal? Um, it's not seven colors though. I'm so sorry to disappoint you guys. I wish it was. I wish it was. But I don't have the energy for that. <laughs> so I was like, why not make a nice hearty meal with you guys? So today we are making macaroni and cheese. We're making mac and cheese. I will call it always uh, famous mac and cheese. Famous where? I don't know. But it's always famous mac and cheese. Um, we will be having it with the ribs. Um, the ribs are not going to be made from scratch. They are the store bought ones. The ones that I'm just going to put in the oven and hope for the best. And the salad. So I'll be making the mac and cheese and the salad. With, I'm not making the salad with you guys. The salad is also store bought. But I'll be preparing it, like putting it together. Because it's, you guys will see, man, it's in packages. So I have to make it one package. So I'll be making that with you guys. Um, so we'll be making the mac and cheese from scratch. I'll be showing you guys how I make my mac and cheese. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited because I really, really enjoy mac and cheese. I've been craving it so much these past few days. And I was like, why not? <laughs> making this mac and cheese I will be having a glass of cheers I'll be having a glass of something red because why not it's a Sunday um, I'll be having a nice glass of um, don't ask me what it is I uh, ask no questions here no lies right because nobody's paying me to promote their drinks so I shall not so we will be drinking something red something red something red so let us get into the video okay so to start off with my mac and cheese um before i do the cheese part let's start with the mac part <laughs> before we do the cheese let's do the macaroni first um i know most people i'm sure most people know how to make macaroni but for those who don't i'll be using the fatty simonis um macaroni it's elbow neck elbow macaroni uh I find that, uh, what's its name? What am I doing today? Mac and cheese is best with elbow macaroni because that elbow just scoops up the cheesy goodness you guys will see. So I'm going to boil some water, put this in a pot. I'll show you guys how I do that. Put some oil, put some salt, and then we will start with the cheese. I'm putting some canola olive oil canola olive oil um, well it's not only canola olive oil it's oil when you put oil in your pasta sorry it helps it from sticking together basically um, so that your pasta doesn't become bump and then I put some salt as well for taste and then I'm just gonna close that it's this water already boiled in the kettle but I want it to boil again before I add my pasta to it okay so the water is boiling now I opened this so ugly it's going to pour everywhere but anyway the water is boiling so I'm going to pour this You must just measure with your eyes how many of y'all are in the house. This thing of measurements, guys. This thing of measuring your food. 
Ndiye abelungu le, and that's why ni touch up. Ndiye ogmeja rukuja. Ndiye abelungu honestly. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more, just a tiny bit more. And then I'm gonna leave it alone to let it cook. So now let's focus on our cheese. Okay, so now that this is boiling, um, we're starting with our cheese. So the cheesy part, Ned, it's not complicated, but I like flavor. What are you doing? I like flavor in my food, Ned. So I use a lot of flavors. To achieve the exact flavor I want so for that I also put um, a chopped onion so I'm gonna chop my onion now a lot of people say that the fact that I put an onion in my mac and cheese is a bit dramatic but I think it, it just it just makes sense man it combines the flavors and all of that so I'm gonna chop some uh, onion and one clove of garlic one just one one clove of garlic and then yeah stay tuned then you'll see what's next <laughs> Anyway, my food, my what do you call onion and garlic are browned by force. Um, so now I'm going to use some diced bacon. Um, I'm gonna put them in this pan after I open them. Smells so good. Mm. It smells so good. But obviously, bacon always smells good, so <laughs> there's that. So I'm just gonna wait for this to cook a little bit, and then I will be back. Okay, now we add our cream. I'm using the Dew Fresh, ah, Dew Fresh Fresh Cream. Not too much, obviously, because I don't want our 
Land mac and cheese to be runny. I just want it nice and coated. But this sauce is gonna get thicker because we're gonna put a lot of ingredients to it. So now I'm gonna add some black pepper. Just for taste and for a little spunk. And then I'm just gonna let that cook for a little bit before I come back to it. I think I need a little more cream. Just a little more. I don't think it will be enough. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit and cook amongst itself for a little bit and then I'll come back to it. This is what I want. Perfect, okay. So now that it's cooking nicely. Okay, let me stop dancing. Oh, and it smells, the bacon is making it smell so nice. Okay, so now, now I'm gonna put in some garlic and herb. A little bit though, not like too dramatic. I swear that's not dramatic. And then I'm gonna put in a quarter, like literally a quarter of chicken cubes. Well, a chicken cube. A quarter of a chicken cube, not chicken cubes. So I'm gonna put in like a very tiny bit, like this much. Oh, sorry, this much. Just gonna put that in there. And then mix. Ooh, looking so pretty. So pretty. Okay, let's let that cook for a few more, like not few, like let's say two minutes. And then we'll be back to add our cheese. Okay, so now it's time for cheese. And for cheese, I'm gonna be using the Pamela cheddar cheese. It's grated already uh, because I was quite lazy to grate cheese. So I bought the already grated one. And then I'm gonna be using some low-fat mozzarella cheese by Lance Wood. This one wasn't, come on, focus. This one wasn't grated. Um, couldn't find grated mozzarella cheese. Do they even make grated mozzarella cheese? I don't think I've ever seen grated mozzarella cheese. I don't think they grate mozzarella cheese. Nonetheless, I'm gonna dice this up and then we're gonna put it in our boiling mixture. Let me lower the stove a little bit. I think it's too hot. And then yeah, so now let's get into the cheese. <laughs> So now I'm gonna add some pepper sauce. This is just for taste, guys. I'm obsessed with taste, like I said. My food must have taste, man. Like I don't understand bland food when I'm struggling to open this. <gasps> I broke my nail. Oh my God. Anyway, life goes on. Um, I don't, understand bland food when you have a choice you know like you have a choice to make it not bland why is it bland 
I'm gonna mix that in there. See, our sauce is getting thick now, which is what we wanted. Ooh, our mozzarella balls or cubes or whatever we'll call them are now also melting. Ooh, this looks so good, guys. Oh my god. Okay, so in the meantime, I am preheating my oven. Um, so that it's nice and warm when I'm putting this in to bake it. My ribs are done, they are here. And then while this is in the oven, we're going to be making our green salad. So I'm gonna let this sit maybe for like 30 seconds, no, a minute, just so the flavors come together. So a minute has passed. This is our pasta from earlier. Now, I'm going to be mixing my beautiful sauce in there. Oh God, how am I gonna do this? Oh, content is killing the youth, wow. I think I should have put a little bit first instead of just dumping the whole thing so that it would be easier to mix. But we're here now, might as well soldier on. So now I'm just gonna mix that in there. Oh, I definitely should have poured a little bit, but it will work out. Pasta noises annoy me so much. <laughs> the noise that a pasta makes annoys me so much, guys. And people enjoy it so much for their own personal and disgusting reasons. But I find it so annoying. So I'm just going to mix, mix, mix here before I put it in our oven dish. Just so by the time it gets there, Everybody has some cheesy goodness on them. I feel like this is lacking something green, you know? I feel like it's lacking some green. It's too bland for my liking, but okay, it's mac and cheese. What did I expect? Okay, so let me get my oven dish. And let me just pour this in here Oof. this is actually a lot of pasta this is the whole week's food if we're being honest mix mix everybody has okay so I lowered my lighting a little bit so you guys could see like what it really looks like without the artificial light okay this is what our cheesy goodness looks like mm. wow mm. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to our pamela cheese, grated pamela cheese, and we're just gonna put on top of that so it has a nice cheesy crust. Ooh, no, it's too much. And then we're gonna add mozzarella as well because we can't leave her out this is too big I feel like my mozzarella is too big so I'll just chop it up a little bit but yeah that's what we're adding now oh in those of a lap wow 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 
Okay. That's enough. Why do I want more mozzarella? I feel like I want more. Let me cut up a little bit more mozzarella to put and then yeah, I'll show you guys afterwards. This is what I want. Okay, this is what we look like before going into the oven. And then I will show you guys afterwards what we're gonna look like. I'm so excited. Okay, let me put this in the oven and then we will start making our salad. Okay, let me put this in the oven. Okay, so now I'm getting into my salad. Um, it's getting a little dark, obviously, because it's late. What's the time? It's 18.26. I don't know if you guys can see this. 18.26, so it is quite late. Uh, the sun goes down at 18.29, last I checked. Um, but yeah, um, we're making my salad now, Nim. And I told you guys, it's not from scratch, okay? So please don't judge me. And I won't judge you. Because it could get ugly before it gets beautiful. So please don't, you know, yeah. So <laughs> it is gonna get beautiful. It's not gonna get ugly at all. But yeah, let's get into the salad. Uh huh. So <laughs> I took a trip to the fridge and I came back with our Greek salad. Um, yeah, this is our salad. So I'm going to, I almost said table it. I'm going to bowl it. I'm going to be putting it in a bowl. And then you guys will see what I'm doing. It's not much because I like, I don't like, I don't like work. I don't like work. Uh, I feel like I work a lot in my life. So yeah. Uh, and my, oh, I thought I got the one without the um, olives. I like olives in my salad, but it does have. So let's put it in a bowl. So one thing about this salad now. It likes intent, you know? You must be very intentional when you are making it, you know? So I'm going to put down my greens and my, what's this thing? Cucumber. So I'm going to put those at the bottom. Uh, the reason I do this one by one with my greens because there's big pieces like this one. Can't really, doesn't look cute man when you have this much lettuce in a fork so i kind of like break it up a little bit and then there's parts like this part i don't like this part i don't like this i feel like it tastes like water so i remove it but this is my preference guys i feel like obviously you guys enjoy your salad your way but i'm i'm introducing y'all to my way y'all might like my way okay this is a, a, a lazy trick. <laughs> it's not even a trick, but I don't know what I'm trying to say. So this salad now comes with some red onions, but I find that they don't put enough red onions, so I add a little bit of my own. So I'm going to slice some red onions in there, separate them. So they look like everybody else so it, you know it doesn't jump piece that it wasn't bought with everybody else i enjoy raw red onion so i put quite a lot i feel like it gives my salad such a nice freshness Okay, and that's it. So, I'm going to cut my tomatoes in half. These tomatoes are very few, but I didn't buy any more, so this will have to do. But if I had more, I would add more, because I enjoy tomatoes as well in my salad. So I'm just cutting them in half, and then throwing them in there. And then now, this comes with olives. Is it three? Wow. Okay, this comes with olives. There's usually more, but today they gave me three olives. 
that's fine um my hands are slippery with my so this has a thingy inside is it a poop so i try not to have a poop in my salad because that wouldn't make sense because why is there a poop in my salad you know just doesn't make sense Ooh, I love olives guys with my whole heart I get a quiet taste the next is uh, the what's this thing called feta cheese but before I add feta cheese I'm gonna add some avo I love avo in my salad so I'm gonna add a nice avo in there So because I have an avo in my salad, this salad must be done by tomorrow. Hey, is this even ripe? Oof. Now we are here guys i know people in the comments are gonna be like are you seriously showing us how to plate packaged salad yes i am i am you know what i definitely am <laughs> okay and now we're gonna put some now we're gonna put some black pepper for taste So this is what we're looking like right now. Ooh, she looks good actually. So most people put olive oil in their salad and then put salad dressing later. Mina, I put a uh, Greek salad dressing um, on it just so it stays moisturized and has that nice flavor. And then later when I'm eating, I'm going to dress it with a creamy uh, blue cheese dressing my favorite guys i even have this one with sandwiches sometimes why is it not focusing i even have this with a sandwich sometimes depending on how i feel there we go so yeah we're just gonna drizzle a little bit of this in here but this is not dressing we are not dressing the salad yet we're just putting it so that it stays nice and moisturized. I think this is going to ruin the presentation and you guys won't see it as presentable anymore. But I just want everybody to be coated in our Greek dressing, I guess. But everybody must be coated. So obviously all the ingredients then run away and go to the bottom and all you can see on top is leaves but that's okay when you dish it up it's going to look amazing don't worry about it sweetheart okay so our mac and cheese is out of the oven I won't lie it took a few years because uh, I wanted it to first the cheddar to get like crispy on top and brown that's how I know it's nice and ready I'm trying to turn it so you guys can see it, but it's so hot and I don't want to burn. But this is what she looks like. I don't even know if the lighting is doing this any justice, but yes. So let's plate her up and yeah. <laughs>
this is what our plate looks like Ooh. here's our mac and cheese our salad and our ribs this one is just gonna have mac and mac and cheese and ribs he doesn't eat salad but i do i eat a lot of salad so yes this is our plate okay guys this is my final plate this is what we're looking like i don't know if you guys can even see it properly i'm so hungry oh my god i'm so hungry but that is our final plate one thing about me i can cook okay um and yeah thank you so much for joining me on this video hope you guys did enjoy it and i hope it was informative especially the salad part <laughs> i hope you guys will join me on my next one um i will be having I, I i think you guys have noticed that ever since i said i was gonna be more consistent i've been uploading weekly every week i make sure that i upload so definitely next week i will have a new video up and i hope you guys stay tuned for that i love you guys to the moon and back into the moon again and back again and so on and so forth bye